at home. I'm um, just doing a little stripping here. Strip out these feed horns. They're all every board's a little different to understand it. Uh, this was a, a switch. It's heavy cast, so it's worth taking apart, cleaning it because it's probably about you know there's a lot of weight there. I'm not sure exactly how much weight, but it's pretty heavy cast aluminum. This has got no no real gold plating on this one at all. Uh, these are some of the boards. Like they look like gold some. Like these three look like gold. This looks like really pure gold. Right? They're all, all I don't know if they're silver or what's going on here. Um or it's very very light uh, plating of some some material. If anybody knows what they use in these, if it's some are I know it looks like gold. Some looks like really low carried gold, and some looks like silver. And this, you know, even this is a different kind of a board also. So I'm just kind of curious if anybody knows. And then uh, here's a different version here. It's got a green board. Uh, it's mixed here, it looks like a, almost like a gold one there. I have another funny one here too. And they're all taking all different kind of, um, some are, you know, like a star pattern. Some are like a... Uh, Torx, but they're all, all different type of settings here. This one it has a metal metal plate here. It's compressed and narrow and silicone. All you have to do is get a screwdriver and punch it and bend the plate out. Anyways, this is uh, some of the dirty brass. There's a fair amount of uh, material here, but uh, going through it right now to see what I get, how many boards they can salvage. Uh, that's cast aluminum anyway, so that's still some value there. Some I can't clean completely, like like this one here. There, there um, will only be a small little pin in there. The rest will be just clean. Like here, you can't get these two out. Like there'll be just a little bit of dirtiness in there. If if they complain about it, I can just get a drill and drill it out. That's the worst case scenario. But for now, I think I'll leave it. Okay. Okay. Pile gets bigger. Here, I'm gonna try to open this one here. It's like three. Then there'll be three screws there, and then whatever uh, seal that there is. <coughs> Only one really nice gold board. Like there, there's gold in here, but what's the? Is it is it lower carrot? Then this one here. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's, you got to clean anyways. It's still uh, aluminum. I don't have my headset here, that's why, and you, you'll probably be bored watching these anyways, it's pretty simple. Once you pop the, the metal off, it's just um, Torx type screws in there and that's it. Pretty straightforward. Okay, I'll show you more as we go. Yeah, I'll show you the uh, three different feet horns. Uh, very impressive looking board in here, lots of gold plating. This might be the best board. I'm going to unscrew everything, I'm doing everything by hand here, so it's going to take forever, but... There's a million Torx ones, some flatheads, mostly Torx, but I'm seeing lots of gold and the right color gold too, shiny. Okay, I'll show you the other side when I take it out. I pulled it apart. Very nice gold board. Look how big it is. Came in two sections, actually three sections. It's actually got uh, a couple tantalums on there. Some other stuff. And I believe there was. Three transistors also. Let's see what you The three transistors were on the board. I pulled them off. They were kind of jammed in there. Look at that. That's awesome. That's like 10 cell phones right there. Okay. I'm going to keep continuing. This is my pal. Pal so far. This one I still have to get a couple screws out here. But uh, it's taking a little time here to get these screws out. Even these, some of these jacks, I don't know if I can get away with those. It's probably cast aluminum or something, I think. I'm not sure. Get these screws out. And then it's a pretty heavy piece. And here's another piece here that came off it too. And there's two small ones. And this is probably, I'd say probably two pounds. For both of them just a beautiful board came out okay stay tuned okay, I got uh
Got L and B out of a really, really big dish. So I'm going to take it apart and see what's really in it. Um, I'll just take it apart a bit and show you a little bit better details on what's really in here. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's four nuts there and the four nuts on the side. Heavy cast here, cast over here. Basically it's well built. Echo Star. Um, Chap Chaparral. Okay, made in the USA. I'll let you know. Stay tuned. Okay, I stripped everything I had to here now. I want to show you this uh, LMB. This is off a really big dish. Those big uh, eight, ten footers. So basically this one it's all mounted like this, you know, like that, and there's another piece of mounted on an angle. There were stainless steel screws and bolts in them. There were screws here that were stainless steel. Screws around the back. These are the plates. Uh, basically, that, that was your antenna or something here. I think it was your antenna. And what you did is your, um, this thing that was on the back was essentially a mortar that turned that antenna. And it gave you a different uh, degree angles, I guess, or something like that. Uh, so just the circuit board, the mortar, it was controlled by your satellite receiver. So not much in there. But that was your antenna, your antenna was in here. And basically, like I say, it was like that, I had to break it out. And the mortar rotated, gave you the different angles. So this is all clean cast, aluminum. It's pretty heavy stuff. Uh, I don't see any... Um, can't tell what this plating is. It could be silver plating on this board. Not really sure. Don't know, but that's the board. Two boards that came out of there. Not too impressive, but heavy cast, so it's worth taking apart. Also, these are the silver bo uh, gold boards. Some have really nice gold. Some of it's just uh, not that much gold on there. Some of it doesn't even look like gold, so I'm not sure if this was gold and it tarnished over time. Not really sure. Just bizarre looking. And then these are the antennas here. They're the gold plated antennas. That stick out there. So that's all stripped there. I don't know how many there is here, but let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all one. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about, about 20 because these big ones had a small, small one like that somehow also. It was only two, so it looked at about 20 there. Also, um, I need to, if anybody can identify this, this part here. They can see here is that has those materials here and there. If you look at that. First time I've seen that. It's very hard to see. It looks almost like, you know how your your cell phones pick up those codes. Anybody seen this before? Can let me know if it's a hazardous material. Because I don't personally know what they are. There's only two like that that have them. They have them on each side, but only one is labeled, which I find strange. So if anyone knows about that, these are my connectors. Um, these are all steel screws. Everything was done by hand, by the way. I had no machinery here. No cordless tools, nothing. Everything was really tight, had to be done by hand anyways. These are non-magnetic. These are stainless steel. Here's some of the uh, you need precision tool set. You need uh, torques, all different sized torques because they're all different kinds. There's even one I couldn't open up because it, it had some even a weird pattern I never had. Cutters, um, even like say this cable wire is steel. You think it's copper? It's not copper. It's steel. There's only about three or four that were actually copper in the center. So I need a couple screwdrivers, a flat one, and a little sharp one here to pull the seal out. And a good, uh, a good one like this. Anyways, I want to show you. Uh, this is everything in here. I stripped out and it's quite heavy. We see, I would say 20 pounds there. Um, 
you know, it's not a lot of money, but like I say, the end result is if you want those boards, you have to do that, right? You have to get it. I mean, this is probably a couple pounds alone here, this material. So, over 20 pounds of uh, material here. So, I, I, think, I think it's well worth worth taking these boards because I'll tell you, I mean, some boards are really nice and awesome and shiny, right? So, until we know what comes out of this, I'll have to put in an acid and see what, what it is in the long run. Here's a little antenna piece here. It's a gold plated. Anyways, that's it. It's a little bit, a little bit of those. Um, these are like Bell Express U, Dish Network. They're all satellite receiver or feed horns. Um, I'm not sure. Like I say, some have really good boards and like really high carat gold. So, until I could narrow it down, I found two Bell Express U's yesterday. They were double horns. So they should have four, four little ones like this in there. Four small ones, like four single ones like this. So I'm gonna end up checking them out. If if they're the, the really good gold plated ones, then I'll know which ones are better than, better than average. So anyways, that's it. Just wanted to introduce you to my cat, Beamer. Why don't you say hi to everybody? Beamer, say hi. Yeah, my cat uh, actually was, when I went to uh, Slovenia, I guess my cat missed me, and then I went away a week later, or two weeks later, I went to Puerto Varda, and the cat got sick. Uh, the vet thinks it was just lonely, and it got jaundice, and it was a really bad condition, and he's uh, doing pretty good now, a little bit better. Well, he's actually gaining a little bit of weight. What happened to him, he, when I got him home, I went home for my holiday, I noticed my cat had... Um, I could feel his backbone really, you know, real bony and spiny, and it wasn't like that when I left to Mexico. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe he had the stress of not seeing me for six weeks, and then when I went away again, he was probably more upset. He didn't eat no food, but he's doing good now. Hey, buddy, you doing good? Say hi to everybody. It's my baby. It's my baby. Yeah, my baby. Oh, don't bite me. Say hi to everybody. You want to see, say bye to everybody? He got, he got an IV in his arm, right there, and his paw. And he got his neck shaved here, and he had to flush his system. All the toxins out of his body. He had antibiotics on him and stuff. Doctor said uh, he probably won't survive a day a day longer if we didn't take him in time. Right, buddy? Okay, just want to introduce him to my cat, Beamer. He's about, I think, 12 years old right now. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and share. All comments welcome. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Say bye.